Hi, I'm Drew Connery Murray. Welcome to today's live stream from the Packet Pusher, sponsored by Dell Technologies. In this segment, I'm joined by Paul Turner. He is Vice President of Project Management at VMware's vSphere. We're going to talk about uh, VMware's Project Monterey and Data Processing Units, or DPUs. Uh, so, Paul, welcome to this segment. Let's dive right in. What is Project Monterey? So at the first, great to be here. And uh, at the at the very highest level, uh, it's basically us virtualizing the DPUs. These DPUs are smart NICs. What's different, right? We've we already virtualized GPUs. We virtualized CPUs. Uh -huh. We're virtualizing now the DPU. And and the great advantage of that is as VMware comes into this market, it means we can get broad adoption of these smart NICs, these DPU devices. And what's different about a DPU device is it's effectively an inbound piece of hardware. It's it's in line with your network. It is a NIC device. And that means that as the streaming I.O. is effectively going out onto the smart NIC, we can do processing and analytics because these smart NICs have processors on them. They've got processors, they've got memory. We can actually run compute services on those, but we can run compute services that are actually doing analytics. And if you think about what we need to do in terms of modern applications, they're driving higher network I.O., higher bandwidth, but they also have higher requirements for security, for continuous firewalling. Thinking about a, you know, what we do on, on software-defined networking, we're continuously, every VM, every application, every container service is doing secure firewall servicing on a per-application basis. So that takes processing and doing that in the streaming I.O. processing that we can do with the smart NIC and on the DPU is a big advantage. So so at the highest level, Project Monterey is us virtualizing the DPUs so that we can actually deliver new value to the customers and particularly needed for modern applications, security and analytics or continuous confidential computing uh, and AI processing. Okay, so I'll read that back to you. The, the DPU is essentially sort of a, an advanced smart NIC. It's got compute power on the device itself so I can do things on the NIC that I couldn't do before, run applications and so on. And Project Monterey's goal is then to virtualize that compute, that memory so that I can do that. Well, what kind of things can I do uh, on this DPU? Yeah, sure. So if you think about it, it's an inbound device. The interesting thing is that you think of some very basic capabilities. Like let's, let's think about continuous encryption of data streams and data traffic. It takes processing. Mm -hmm. Uh, if I can offload all of that processing onto the smart NIC, I can also offload the handshaking that needs to go on for network traffic. I can actually reduce CPU core usage, actually give it back to the application. You get higher processing of, for your applications. You can have more VMs, more workloads, more applications run on your servers. So that's a nice little advantage. But you can do much more than that. I want to be able to do analytics. Uh, we can actually do uh, um, uh uh, feed straight from the DPU, so uh, we can we can basically take uh, it, it, do span analytics where you can you can do a switch port analytics where you're feeding the port traffic off to an analytics device in in line in band and run that analytics on the DPU as well. Um, we can also do things like uh, firewall services, so continuously mm -hmm. monitoring and and checking for security policies and governance and be able to isolate off from the smart NIC. Remember, this is an isolated compute device separate from the CPU. Right. So we can actually do control and isolation of traffic and traffic flows and per process kind of flows directly from the smart NIC. Okay, and again, the value proposition here is that typically if I wasn't using a smart NIC, that all of that work would have to be done by the CPU, which I would have to dedicate cores to those functions rather than to my application. Yeah, exactly. It, it takes it takes some of that processing that would have been done on the CPU. But but the second piece is remember this is a, a device that is sitting in band, but is also isolated off from where your applications run. That gives you an interesting security perimeter, because you know your your applications have end users uh, that are running those applications. They're running on your CPU services. There's a chance for you know attacks uh, from those applications into core services that could affect other applications. Mm -hmm. That isn't the case with the smart with the DPU. The DPU is an isolated device where you're going to have a control a, a control plane device where you're going to have fewer users able to access it. So it gives us a good degree of isolation as well as the benefits of performance acceleration uh, for network and for SAN traffic or, or for for I/O traffic. Uh, we can do uh, streaming analytics on devices. 
We can do security and firewall. So there's a lot of services that we can bring onto that streaming I.O. So for that particular use case, the, the security <laughs> use case, you know, typically I'd have probably a hardware firewall in front of my data center, trying to do a lot of rules processing for a whole variety of use cases. You're saying with the DPU, I can sort of maybe narrow down all of the firewall rules or controls or policies to essentially a workload that I'm running on a server. Well, I think what's what's actually happening in networking is we're moving to more of a software-defined networking world, right? Where because remember those 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 firewall devices where you had physical firewall devices, we were effectively doing a hop. And we are hopping back up to the firewall, checking its security policies, mm -hmm. hopping back down to the server. It's a pretty inefficient way to do it. We want to actually get I.O. done as quickly as possible. We want to do application processing as quickly as possible. So it's much better if we actually build the firewall as a software firewall and build it into every application. Effectively, every VM, every container service is doing firewall checking rules continuously. And that's what's happening in software-defined networking, but that takes processing. And that processing, you you can you can have the SmartNIC there to now accelerate that processing. By bringing it in, we can actually take, as, as we do this continuous checking of your policy, make sure that there's governance. You want to do micro isolation where you want to say one application, you actually want to block the traffic for that application. You're able to do it at that granular level. And you can do it now because you've got the processing power. You're streaming it through the SmartNIC. The SmartNIC is enforcing these rules and policies, and you can you can put the governance in there. So you mentioned at the top that uh, Project Monterey is essentially virtualizing uh, the DPU. So thinking back to the, the hypervisor example on a CPU, typically I probably wouldn't care which x86 vendor was uh, that hardware where it came from if I'm virtualizing it. Is Project Monterey going to give me the same platform flexibility with DPUs, meaning I don't have to think too much about it if uh, you know one set of DPUs is coming from NVIDIA and another one's coming from Pensando or whatever? So yes and no. Uh, I, I'd say yes from an operational point of view because we want to make it so that you don't have to manage these devices. So what we're doing with, just like we do for vCenter, for virtual environments or for container-based environments, you can manage a whole estate of hosts and not worry about, you know, you can lifecycle those hosts, you can upgrade them, you can do them non-disruptively to the application. We want to bring all that operational value to you, independent of what hardware you choose. Uh -huh. So you will get all of the advantages of that operational benefit. But we are doing custom work per uh, DPU. Effectively, if you look at the different DPU vendors, uh, take NVIDIA or AMD Pensando, there is uh, different capability sets that they have. Pensando has a P5, which is a programmable kind of hardware pipeline. So we can actually do... Uh, some of our network I.O. and traffic analytics directly into programmed, effectively programmed hardware. Uh -huh. um, so you want to take advantage of the advantages of these processors and not not end up with a least common denominator. Uh, NVIDIA is a little different. They throw lots more cores at it. So there's much more processing capability, actually, just in the general uh, um, uh, ARM cores that are available to you on the NVIDIA box. So we we make sure the operations are common across both and it's very easy for you to operationalize and it doesn't take any work it's point and click and it's single click button setting within vCenter to configure the smart nick but you want to take advantage of each of the different devices and so we've custom engineering we do per device got it okay so my operations may not be any different depending on the hardware platform i'm running on but each hardware platform may have pros and cons or a feature set that's going to work best for a particular workload or use case so it's up to me to figure out based on that, my workload and my demands, which platform to use. But with Project Monterey, I can run whatever I want on top of those. Yeah, and importantly, what we've done, we've done this with uh, VMware for a long time, is we're able to actually go and, and plug in different device capabilities from different vendors. We have a very open ecosystem to make sure that we can support a heterogeneous set of capabilities. And so with uh, the SmartNIC, we're being, you know, particular, very, very particular, the DPU, we're being very particular about let's take advantage of uh, of these capabilities and let's keep this as open a system as we can. So it's not just about the DP. You also have to work with the OEMs, the, the, the server manufacturers. How are VMware and companies such as Dell working together on Project Monterey? Yeah, so so the DPU is actually not just a short-term kind of fad. We believe it's actually uh, redefining the way that we can build servers. And the reason for that is, uh, you know, it's it's actually very healthy and helpful 
to have this streaming analytic. You know, we mentioned it for security reasons, for performance offloads, for just being able to do AI analytics and you want to bring more, you know, traffic analytics or, or, or feed data from IO servers or storage arrays uh, to compute and do compute analytics in real time. There's a lot of advantages. So we believe that all servers are going to get rebuilt with uh, DPUs. And that's what we're working with the server vendors on. Um, in fact, they're many times they're ahead of us. So uh, Dell and HPE already have announced support for Project Monterey-based servers, uh, new designs of their server families. We've got uh, Lenovo, Cisco, Fujitsu, all lined up to do work on uh, DPU-enabled servers for Project Monterey. So we're looking at a broad ecosystem. We want customers to have the choice to decide which hardware manufacturer they have. Uh, and of course, you know, with with Dell, we've done some really nice custom engineering on the latest the latest servers.